Hickman Elementary is a small elementary school here in Mira Mesa, San Diego, California. We have 435 students. I love our school because we are super diverse. We have over 27 different languages spoken here. When I came here, I noticed that we have a lot of leaders, but everyone was working in their own cylinders. I didn't feel a sense of community here when I first came. Everyone was kind of on their own little island. Even within my grade level, everyone was just doing their own thing. And this school was in a pretty big slump. It was not enough communication. Um, it, it was maybe a feeling of insecurity almost, that people weren't feeling good about their teaching and what was going on. We realized that we needed a common language. We needed something to pull us together. We started doing a book study with this amazing book called The Leader in Me. What if we started working with unlocking the genius in each child? What does it mean to actually be a leader? And so once we started using it, the culture changed. I mean, it was, it was so quick. After Leader in Me, I saw a definite transformation where students were more involved, they felt they had a voice, teachers felt like they had a voice. What I like about Leader Me in school is that everybody's a leader. Since the school is Leader Me, the kids are also in charge. They let you be free and let you do a lot of things. It's not just one child is going to be the great leader of the class. It's each child has unique genius that we need to unleash. I feel like the seven habits help me become a better person and help me influence other people to be too. I feel like the seven habits help me in my life by tell they help me understand what I'm meant for. You can be a leader too at the age that you're at, and also you are also important. I have triplets in kindergarten, and just seeing them become their own little leaders. They come home and they tell me stories about getting to be this class leader, a table leader. Leader in me takes you from leadership is for the few, but leadership is for all. You lead by setting example for others to try and, ex and try to inspire people to be leaders as well. I think what makes a good leader is someone that sets a good example and inspires others to be a leader. They should probably not be the kind of leader that tells people what to do and instead they actually show them. There's a freedom in, in learning leadership skills and it's really built the confidence of the, of the students but the staff too. Each of our teachers went through the seven habits training. They learned that they need to walk the walk and truly be that leader. And then how do they release that leadership to their students? It's a constant reminder of what I need to do. And when I teach the students, I'm living what I'm teaching. It has such a positive impact on you as a person. And when you realize that first it starts with you and you reflect, then that is contagious and it carries over to your students and to your colleagues. The beauty of Leader in Me is that it's not a program that's a one size fits all. It really is a process and it is a plate that we use to hold everything that we've gone through. People can look at it as, well, it's another thing I have to do. Well, it's actually not. The Leader in Me supports everything that we're doing and it benefits students, teachers, our families. I mean, I think it's so wonderful that it should be in every school. Being a part of the San Diego Unified School District for the past seven years that I've been here, I have seen so much growth and the Leader in Me that we've used at Hickman is now spread to other schools. Other schools are adopting the Leader in Me process and trying it on. Leader in Me, that has probably been the number one positive impact that I see is how how we are able to be so connected and have such strong relationships as a staff and then how that just carries over to the kids and the parents. They're not just academic, but they're life habits. It's real, I mean, because they're actually using it to improve themselves. We are learning that the more we can coach our young learners to rise up as leaders and find their voice, the better we can be.